Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So basically, what I have right now is I have the clam. What? All right, guys. So basically, I have the crab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna put them in the water to boil or cook up, and then we're gonna eat this bad boy. So let's get to it. Okay, as you see, I have the crab right here. A nice sized crab that we caught yesterday. I actually didn't get it on footage because uh, sad truth is those crabs that you saw me catching a while ago, and they were actually in the freezer for too long, and they started to get all nasty and rotten up. So I had to throw them away. So now what I'm going to show you what to do is how to clean the crab. Okay, so now I'm going to actually show you how to clean the crabs. Now, it's not really hard to do. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to want to get this flap and, you know, that you can tell that this is a female because it's rounded. Uh, males usually have a uh, more straighter one, basically right here, but it's all straight. And that's how you kind of part. Basically, you're going to get that flap, rip it open, and sometimes if it doesn't come off, because this came off really easily but if it doesn't come off easily you just want to probably get one of the legs and just scoop it out like that but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it and she's actually pretty hard that sounded wrong but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it pull it back and then you're gonna stick your finger through there and you're gonna be able to pull out the shell now here let me do it with my index or my middle finger actually really hard to do <laughs> everything that I crack open is hard to do there. there you go she actually has a bunch of stuff but we're gonna put those to the side now you see all this stuff you just want to clean all that out turn on the water clean out all that gut. now you see these right here these are basically like the gills you do not want to eat those those are really bad I have this too, so I can just just rip off the face because we don't want that either. Oh, cloth fell off with that right here. Okay, for the ingredients, you're going to want to use some garlic powder, Tony seasoning, lemon pepper, and you're going to want to get this. This is what we're going to be using for today. It's going to be a Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab boil. It tastes really good on the crab, basically on anything that's seafood, and it makes it really, really spicy. Just a heads up. Okay, so the water is boiling, but what you want to do is you're going to get your lemon and you're going to cut it up into little pieces. You're also going to want to get butter and white onion and throw it into the pot. And now that all the ingredients is in, you're just gonna want the water to get back to a boil. And once the boil gets back on, you throw the crabs in there and let it boil up again and give it about maybe 10 to 8 minutes to cook. So the water's boiling up, so now let's get the crabs in there. Instant red. Okay guys, so the crabs are right about done now. Yeah, well, that really Foggy, but we're gonna take them out now and see how they taste. 
Look at that. Look at that meat. Looks amazing. Okay, so the crabs are, they're done, but basically they're too hot to eat and I really don't want to be going through pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the freezer and let them cool off for a while and then take them out. Maybe about five, ten more minutes. Later. Hey, shit. Hey. So, okay, so it's been about eight minutes already. I have the crab right here and we're going to get right into it. Okay, so I have the crabs right here. Let's get right into it. We're gonna go into this claw because the claw's like the best part of it. So we're gonna tear it open. If you're really lucky, you can actually get all the meat to come out, which I wasn't. So I have to crack that open with my teeth. Okay, look at all that. A little piece of meat right there. I can, use, I can actually use the claw to fork that out. Mmm, little. A little taste of that. I can't get all the meat to come out. Oh, there he goes. Mmm. Awesome. All the meat's in there. All you gotta do is crack it open. Yeah, I'm gonna try actually move them over here. Make a little pile right here. All the shell and everything. Get that. I wish I had lemon to put on it, but unfortunately I don't have lemon. I don't want to chew off some meat while we're doing it. So, open this. This might take a while. Okay, so I got the meat, and let's have taste. Mmm. Oh my god. You can, you can really taste the seasoning. Mmm. And usually crab meat by itself, it tastes so much better, but I think the seasoning really added a hint. And I like to get this part, all the meat that's in here, tastes amazing. Here, we're gonna have a little taste of that. Let's see, And if you see, if you pull off the legs, I failed. Let's do that again. If you pull off the leg, if you pull off the legs, Hold on. If you <laughs> if you pull off the legs, you'll get little bits of meat right there in the end. So you just leave those right off. But just make sure that when you're cracking it, even in the joints and in the parts right here, or the uh, like basically like right here, there's meat in those bits too. Let's see if we can uh, right here. And trust me, when you're done with the crab, you're gonna want more. <laughs> And cracking those spots open is really gonna, it's gonna make it all taste so much better. I destroyed every piece of meat in this crab. It was so delicious. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh